temperatures started to climb after people in Indianapolis, especially those under the age of 40, started going out to dinner and uh, uh, going to bars again as well. Bars have operated at limited capacity, if at all, since March. Fox 59's Brett Cass actually talks to a bar owner tonight who tells him today's announcement is hitting his employees especially hard. Along Mass Ave this afternoon, news slowly trickled out that Indy's bars will close once again. People aren't being responsible, so it's, it's what happens when you're not responsible, honestly. With cases on the rise, Marion County added restrictions for gyms and restaurants. But bars like the Burnside Inn on Mass Ave are now completely cut off. It is hard. I mean, the bars feel like they're really getting picked on. I mean, will Howe owns Burnside and the Wild Beaver downtown. Today, his 20 employees all learned they would be unemployed again in a matter of hours. This is the worst I've ever seen my staff personally um, absorbing this kind of negative news. The closure is set to last until at least August 12th, maybe longer. But the extra $600 in weekly unemployment benefits is set to end next week. I think they're legitimately like scared. I mean, they don't know what they're going to do. The numbers in Marion County show the positivity rate has doubled, with more than half of new cases happening in people under 40. But Howe points out the deaths haven't seen nearly the same increase. It's just really tough. You know, I, I just don't feel like the numbers justify this extreme closing, in my personal opinion. But health officials are concerned those numbers will soon follow. So for the next few weeks, they're asking people to sacrifice their social lives, while Howe and his staff are being asked to sacrifice their livelihoods. Every life matters, but also what about the lives that can't pay their rent, can't live, can't buy food? It's going to be a, a different beast this time. A lot of people having that conversation tonight. And just a reminder, the street closures continue in parts of Indianapolis.